Hey guys and welcome to my next drawing video, my second drawing video. I'm really happy that you guys liked it. So in the comment section, have a comment warning which drawing you want to see next. So this week, I'm going to teach you guys how to draw BMO from Adventure Time. Sorry, it's the wind. So if you could see him. Or her. No, him, yeah. Gunther's a her, I think. Because she had an egg or he had an egg. But there's how he looks. And... Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get on with the tutorial. Materials and tools you will need are um, some type of coloring stuff, like if you want color pencils, markers, or pens, eraser, pencils, just standard ones, a sharpener, and yeah, let's get started on with the tutorial, but first off, I want to show you my Lumpy Space Princess wallet I just made. So let me um, know what you guys think about it in the comment section. So yeah, that's what it is. So you guys, his first step is like a C-shape curve. I like to call them C-shape curves. You've, I've been using them a lot in these Adventure Time drawings. So then, once it's the length you like, next you do another C-shape curve, but longer. Then you come upwards. Then next, you do another one. Then you make it as long as you like. Do another one and come down. Then right here, you close it off with another C-shaped type of curve. So for the top part, next, you um, just drag it along. And then to close it off, you just come in like this. So that's what I've done so far. Now, obviously, you guys are going to make your lines more straighter than mine, how they are. I'm just trying to rush this because I've done this video a couple of times and the camera's died and stuff's happened, so sorry about that. Um, so you do that, and next, not too high, you're going to do the face. Like, you could start it off right here. It looks more better this way. Do another type of C-shaped curve and make this a little bit longer. Then right here, do his face, BMO, and then right here you do... Oh, I'm sorry guys, I forgot to... um do this you go like this right there um right here you do two dots two circles hopefully you could see those let's get zoom in there so you do two circles try to make them the same size and not too big like I am and then two more circles then next up for BMO you're gonna do his arm right here so do like a circle then right here you do his little hands make it kind of curvy not like this though I really messed up but like do it wavy I mean not like you know like not exactly like that don't make it too fat and too big like just make it wavy looking like I did right here for his arms. So yeah, for sure don't make it like this, sorry. I was supposed to start from the bottom part and work my way up. I think that's my mistake I just did. So you go up right here. So I guess that arm won't be that wavy. And then you curve it up. Then on the side is his logo, so you do like an M right here. Try to make it line up. I didn't line it up. Sorry guys, I'm tired and I shot this drawing video like three times. Um, here we go. Then you do the B right here, and I'm not good at B's. 
I'll try my best though. There we go. So sorry it doesn't look that great. But there you go. So that's how the logo would look. But it would look way nicer obviously. And the circles would be a little bit, tad bit smaller. And let's work on his other arm right here. So you do like a circle shape downward. Little turn. Do his little arm. Erase this. So next up we do right here. This is the little part I believe that's for you to insert the game disc or chip. I'm not sure because in Adventure Time I don't know if they have CDs. So there's a little dot right there. And right here there's this triangle. And then you draw a line out right there. And then you bring it down. Like so. And then the circle right here. Is bigger than that one. And you just from here go like this. Try to make it disappear. Within the circle for like the three dimensional shape. Look effect I mean. And now below it's a way bigger circle. Then you do the same thing. Try to make it look like it disappeared. And then it looks dimensional. What I mean by disappeared is like don't make it like a big bump like that. Like try to make it go in with it. Then right here is this other little slot that could be for extension cable or something. I'm not really sure what it's for. It's BMO after all. What do you expect? So there we go. And right there we do the plus shape um, button so from right here we go upward same thing for right here then we make a line out here line out here here make sure everything is the same um, length then right here we go straight across not crookedly and then you erase the axis then you go down straight. If you need to, you could also use a ruler. That'll really come in handy. Then you just erase everything. And it should look really cool like that. Now in the BMO picture I looked up, it didn't have it on this side. But if you finish it off like that, I think it looks pretty awesome. So now we could do his legs and the cable part. But his legs might be better to do first. So his legs like this. And then we make a bump shape. <laughs> Oops, I did it a little too big. That's one thing with drawing, you could always erase. So, you go like that. Give him a little bit more meat. Because he's not that skinny. Then over here, his legs just straight down. Now this one you want to make a little bit meatier. I'll fix that when I show you when we color. Because when I color him and I show you guys how to do that, I fix up the drawing. So um, right here, you do the input. No, please don't touch that. No, stop. Sorry, that's my sister. Um, here's the cable part that like goes in. So then you get a thickness you like and you go along with it. Then once you have the cable part, next we're going to do the little controller. So it's right here like this. And then there's this thing upward. This line upward. Then we go like this. It's kind of curved. Then we come in like that. We go down. Finish off this box type of shape. And 
fix that up. And this right here, sorry, I'm basing it off of my other drawing. And I, yeah, like that. So to show you guys, like I was basing it right there, I was trying to make it look the same. Um, now we do this right here. And you go like that. For the button 3D look, it looks really awesome. Then right here, we're going to do the stick part. Then you go like that. So a bigger circle than a smaller circle. Then you come upward. Then you do that. So that's how you draw Bimo. And just a quick look at this is how you color him up. So if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, that's fine. I am going to color him now and teach you guys how to do that with the background again. So stay tuned for that. Hey guys, so right now we're going to trace it with black color pencil, black pen or whatever you're using. So I recommend when you do this that your drawing, oops, I did a mark. Um, your drawing is really lightly with regular pencil. So you have to draw really light because when you go over, you don't want it to be noticeable. So yeah, we're just going to go over it with black color pencil or whatever um, thingy that you're going to um, trace it over with. So next, um, my bracelet, no. Um, I did BMO everything in black besides the M I forgot, I just realized. So now with the small details like this you fill it up in black color pencil this and the circles so in the circles I wanted to do like a close-up showing you guys how to um, fill them in so you just trace it like this and then you just go like that And then for the letters, you just color them in. Be careful not to color BMO's arm though. So you just color it in right here. Color that black. Outline this. Color black, color the thing black. Oh, and then we color this black also. So once you color all those things black, um, oh, and color these black too, the cable. So once you color all of those black, then next, uh, you color Bimo with, um, like a bluish color. So for Bimo's, um, main part of the body, I'm going to use this one. And for Bimo's head part, I'm going to use this one. So for his body and color pencil, I'm going to use aqua green, um, yeah, it's called aqua green. Sorry, I want it to focus in so you guys can read it. Oh, well, and then I'm going to be using sky blue. Sorry, it won't focus, but anyways, I'm going to use sky blue for the top and this color for the body. So for the um, top, you just color like this, lightly, do it all the way across, and then for Bimo's whole body, don't color any of the parts or anything, but you could color like his legs, this body part, all inside here, do that, and then once you've done that, we're going to color in the little thingy buttons oh uh, sorry so next up um we're gonna color in his buttons and the controller so you guys are obviously gonna color this way darker than me it's just that for the sake of the video and time i did it quicker so this is aqua green and that's sky blue for the top now you don't have to use sky blue use a color that's similar to how the picture looks you could just google the image um so you're gonna need yellow for one of the buttons, you're going to need red, black, you're going to need the aqua green again, the sky blue, and like a lime green color. 
So, on with coloring in the things. I forgot to color this one black, but this one's black. So, this is yellow right here. Sorry, let me zoom in in there so you could see it better. So, sorry it didn't focus. It's yellow. So, you color the whole thing yellow. Then, for red, this button right here is red. And then you color this red also. Then, for the button down here, you also color it red. Then another, wait no, this is blue, it's like a sky blue, you color right here sky blue. So the sky blue looks like that for the button, and then this button's like a lime green. And then you color in the little thing that makes it look 3D. Okay, now this one right here, the controller, is the aqua green for, um, sorry I always do this, I just want to see it focused, um, this part's aqua green right here for the controller. Just the stick thingy that you use to move the game or BMO is that color. Then the blue color, the darker blue, is, um... Oh yeah, it's focused. Finally, it's focused. Um, the dark blue color is the one that you're gonna color in right there. Let's test it. Focus. Oh yeah. It's focused. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, right here you color the dark blue. All inside the controller will be dark blue. So everything I told you to color just color and I'll show you the finished product besides the background we have to work on. Ta-da! There's, um, oops, I dropped my color pencil. Um, there's BMO, he's finished. All we have to do now is the background. Now, obviously, in the other video, I showed you how to draw hills. You could draw trees, you could draw a couch behind BMO. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do the same thing like this one that cool background so I'm gonna teach you how to do that now in the beginning of the video you could pause it or you could pause it right now as I showed you so you could copy the exact same thing now what I like to do was for that one I just did like warm colors like I did red orange and yellow I did different shades of red this one was mahogany red one was red orange and then yeah mahogany right there or something and regular red orange yellow so I pick a color Colors all in the same tone color family. So for this one, I'm just going to do different shades of brown. So I'm going to do uh, tan. I'm going to do just a regular brown. And this light brown. So yeah, sorry. I just always want to see it focus. So basically, first off, what we do is just well f let me say this real quick for this one it's not like the other one I did it just like with the long curve I didn't do any squiggly lines I just did a long curve so you just pick out like where you want your curve to be so I'll be like uh why not want it right here and then like right here I want it to be curved in again then I color all of this light brown. Then now if I want it brown right here, I would go like this and then continue it inside a beam and color all of this dark brown. And then for this tan I haven't used yet, I would come over here and go like that and color all of this section tan and go make my way around the drawing so to color it this is light brown right is it the same color okay good like i like to kind of go a little bit dark right here and then i go lighter along the way so let me zoom in there so you could see it in more detail 
So yeah, I like to go darker right here. And then lighter. And then I just alternate it all the way around the drawing. So let's see how it looks finished. Hey guys, so I'm finally done. I'm really happy because I shot this video. It takes like 20 minutes or more just to make the video of me drawing and coloring. Then to edit and upload it to YouTube was like hours, like 20 hours or something, no joke. But I shot this video like three or four times, multiply that by 25 minutes each. Ugh. So interruptions happened and um, battery of my camera died. But anyways, this is how it looks for the background. I did different shades of brown. I did a light brown, no this is light brown, this is regular brown, this is tan. I just did it lightly and it looks really cool and awesome. It would be cool if this was like a chocolate or some kind of candy person from the candy kingdom that's like brownish color, it would pop. But there it is, I hope you like Bemo. Let's compare him to this one. If you guys could see that. So yeah. Please stay tuned for future drawing videos. I hope you like this one. I'm sorry if it's really long. And yeah, see you guys next time. Oh no, for the next drawing video. Hey guys, so um, I'm really excited because this is my first drawing video. And I wanted to announce this isn't really anything special, but I have a couch in my room now. And it's a nice brown colored couch, so I could use this to shoot videos too. So I was really excited about that, and um, I'm really excited. This is my first drawing video, so I'm going to teach you guys today on how to draw Gunther. He's a penguin from Adventure Time, if you guys could see him in a close-up. So that's my first attempt at drawing him. And it kind of got smudged in the bottom part with the bench kind of didn't come out, but that was my first one. And my second one came out way better. It's got there again, but he's gray with a green background. Hopefully you guys could see it. And yeah, I'm going to teach you how to draw him today this big of a size. If you want to draw him smaller, you also can. And if I get enough views and likes and people enjoy these videos, then I'll continue with another one. So in the comment section for my next drawing video, tell me what you would like to see. Would you like me to do an Angry Birds drawing or like um, a, of the candy people? Because I'm in the process of doing a candy people drawing too. So let me know in the description. Let's get started on with drawing Gunther. Materials and tools you will need to do these drawings are colored pencils, a pencil, a sharpener, an eraser, and a sheet of white paper you could use lined paper also now if you want to use crayons or markers that's fine too just get the colors that um you need for this drawing which are yellow black white and different shades of green are a different color for the background so um when i just recorded it sorry it wasn't in a right way so you could see the angle so First off, to draw Gunther, your pencil's gonna have to be sharp, like mine. I'm using a standard HB2 pencil, so make sure it's sharp. 